odd to say the least. Howdy everyone! Princess of the Bear here and we're back in Magic Kingdom. You know, our favorite part because it's time to go to the wildest restaurant in the wilderness. No, not that restaurant. We're going to pick this bill. You gotta hang on to them hats and glasses still though. Yes, that is your number one choice of food and entertainment. They dropped something new, so we gotta go eat. Remember, she's vegan, I'm not. Let's go get some food. Be sure to enjoy Magic Kingdom. You heard the girl. Today's video is brought to you by the fruit strawberry because we're gonna have a lot of strawberry here in this video starting with this strawberry slush which I'm just gonna use a spoon for because they don't have straws I've had a lot of slushes at Magic Kingdom this one's kind of bland but has like a little bit of a basil aftertaste about this. I think this is like a two out of five strawberries. This is not my jam. A bear might like this though because it's, it's kind of up his alley. It's got that like strawberry tartness that he enjoys. Supposedly I am king of slushes in this channel. Only this channel and not king of slushes anywhere else. So of course I was going to opt into a strawberry limeade slush. Um, I am not a huge limeade fan. I know I know that's sort of blasphemous to South loves limeades. I think limeades are basically trash. Adding lime to my beverage does not make it better. This is not a margarita, okay? So, which was a margarita? I get, I deal with the hand I'm getting. No? This is strawberry light. It's almost like a strawberry snow cone with like a squeeze of lime. I taste more lime than I do strawberry. I think that's part of the problem. Even if I were to like stir it. Yeah, still more lime than strawberry. It had potential. I don't say that often about drinks here at Magic Kingdom for obvious reasons. Uh, but it should have been limeade strawberry, not strawberry limeade. I would give it two out of five plus. Bear got a strawberry salad. And the strawberry salad is not vegan because it comes with a strawberry ranch. But I spoke with a manager and I got a balsamic with olive oil. So I'm taking myself a little bowl. And I put some of the salad on there, undressed. And now I'm gonna add the vegan sauce. And let's see if this salad is worth being modified. Yeah? I don't know, it's Bacon's Bill, so I'm still kind of scared. But let's see. Cheers. The berries are actually a nice addition, and they're pretty flavorful with the balsamic. I actually like this way more than I expected to and I kind of feel like I want to steal more leaves from Bear before he defiles it with the strawberry ranch. This is really tasty. I'm gonna give it a four out of five salads. I think this would really toss your salad if you want a salad at Magic Kingdom. Man, this is a family channel. Just get it with balsamic and then you have like extra tang I'm glad they were able to give us the balsamic vinegar dressing because balsamic and strawberry filled salad, which is basically what this is, are not foreign to each other. They're they're like friends. They're not best buddies, but they hang out in the same county, different sides of the tracks, maybe. But uh, let's get a nice saucing. Get a decent sized tomato. It's cut tomatoes. I can't stress how annoyed I get about non cut tomatoes in a salad. And here, try to get a. Uh, I get a strawberry in here somewhere. Get the full flavor. Strawberries though are huge, like massive. I'm very interesting. Something about strawberries, sort of like dance with the balsamic, is delightful. 
I know, I know that I have thrown shade at Peg Bill in the past. Some of you have come at me for the shade that I've thrown at Peg Bill. Rightfully so. I want you to give your opinions. Peg Bill is not the bastion of quality at Magic Kingdom. It's still better than Starlight Rays Cafe. At Cosmic Rays, easily better. Not to come out sunny, but something like this with the fresh tomatoes, the crunchy salad, the big juicy tomatoes, and the fact that you get the option of balsamic, I will give credit where credit is due. That's a four out of five plus. So here we have the bare portion of the strawberry salad. Uh, now, normally it comes with this strawberry ranch, which is why you won't see it as marked plant-based on the menu. It's a vegetarian salad. Obviously, ranch isn't normally vegan. Strawberry ranch is a weird, weird combination. I don't think I've ever encountered a strawberry ranch or had a desire for a strawberry ranch. Um, not even at Publix. And on Publix strawberry field salad, you get balsamic dressing or you get like a raspberry vinaigrette. You don't get strawberry ranch. That is like putting additional sugar on top of a donut. Like, why would you do that? But I'm going to figure out why they did that. And I'm going to hold them to this. It's either going to be very good, or it's going to be like dessert for a salad. Strawberry in there. I'm not going to lie. That's weird. The strawberry in that ranch is stronger than the strawberry that was in the strawberry limeade slushy. So it comes off if you either poured melted like melted candy over your salad or they're just like just like a melted slushy with salad in it like it's too sweet way too sweet even in like the halls of like fruit based dressing like i was just talking about the raspberry vinaigrette nowhere near that sweet it's literally like dipping leaves and melted candy and that i can see how people who maybe don't like salad might like that i think that's a mix. It had a potential. Look at that strawberry ranch. I've never seen that before, but that is odd, to say the least. Two and a half out of five plage. Your minds may vary. Maybe you like super sweet salads. If you do, please let us know in the comments. Comment. Leave a strawberry emoji and then tell me why you like super sweet dressings in your salad. This is a new vegan option at Pecos Bill. It's a pinto's, pinto bean dish with cilantro rice. You have the peppers and then they give you um, lettuce and tomato. I paid $2.50 for this little thing of guac that I would have gotten for $1.50 in Fairfax Fair like a few years ago. The pinto beans throws me off because usually that's the one with like lard in it or whatever, but all right, let's go vegan with that. That's cool. I'm not objecting to that. Let me get some guac. Lettuce, peppers, tomatoes, rice, and pinto beans. And let's just try it all together. I commit to this mistake. Everything is good except for the rice. The rice is like over cilantro and overcooked. And like, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Please subscribe. I'm Persian. I'm a rice connoisseur. This rice was cooked by a rice noob. Wasn't soaked. Wasn't properly prepped. It doesn't look rock. It does look starchy and just overly cilantro. So this is like the lesser version of Taco Bell. I would give it like two out of five pickles bills. This is not an improvement over the previous vegan version that we had here. I would say this is just basically plateaued. It's just the same. No change. It's, it's no secret that we love Disney chefs. We love Disney chefs, period. Best in some people. They don't make all the decisions. This is a corporation like anything else. It's vying for entertainment. This feels like an inside joke. I haven't even eaten this yet, but it was like, you know, I think our guests miss the toppings bar. So let's give them a toppings bar. And they're like, yo, dog, let us pick up your ride. Now it's a taco boat. Or a topping boat. It's literally just a boat of lettuce, 
uh, tomato, rice, generic peppers, and then some beans. Pinto beans at that. Yes, you can get guac for two fifty, but this doesn't really feel like a rice bowl. This feels like you just threw every side that you had in a boat and then called it a plant-based meal. Just calling it like I see. This does not feel like we made this with the intention of serving this plant-based meal. Like, this is what we had left over in the kitchen, so we're gonna charge them for it. I'm gonna dip in the wok. I'm gonna give me some beans. I'm gonna give me some peppers. Give me some rice. And we're gonna see what they got for us. Tastes like a work, a work potluck. You earned a pizza party, but we were feeling something south of the border. So we get to taco. And as a plant-based person, you showed up to the potluck as usual. Nobody thought about you. So all you get to eat at the company potluck is sides. What do you do? You make do with what's given. And that's what that tastes like. It tastes like an African. I appreciate the fact that there is a plant-based option here. Don't be wrong. And I love, there's nothing wrong with the flavors. Pinto beans are good. Lettuce, crunchy lettuce on the rice. Isn't the best rice I've ever had in the park? Honestly, I don't expect the best rice in the park from Pecos Bill. This is fine, but it feels in my heart of hearts, Kingdom Hearts, but this feels like a legit afterthought. 2.75 out of 5 claws. You're getting a 0.25 added to what would be average, only because it exists. And that's being nice. We have the trio of tacos now in a little like taco holder. I like this. I think they added these taco holders slowly across the parks. This is a much better server to try to serve them with like the Disney paper plate that you used to get them on. And they give you like little sides of cheese. You have hot sauce and things like that if you need it as well. I believe it's Texas Pete or generic hot sauce. Yeah. Monarch. Generic, US foods, yeah, it sounds generic. Uh, cayenne pepper and water. That does not sound interesting. But we're gonna try this first taco here, which is our um, ground beef taco. Your traditional boring beef taco. Probably my least favorite taco protein, which is why I'm going with this one first. I love the fact that they're in these little taco holders now because now. I can use this as a catch-all for everything that falls out of my beef taco, as it should be. The taco meat has some flavor to it. I just got some sauce in there, so I'm just ground beef and not flavored. <laughs> to be honest, I was expecting unflavored beef. I will say, however, I've had plant-based beef that tastes better than that. It's just crumbled mystery meat with the benefit of having cheese and some taco peppers on top. There's nothing right home about it's a decent taco, but you're not gonna remember it. You're not gonna run home to your friends and be like, order the beef tacos from Pecos. When you tell them to come here and probably get full of three tacos, they will definitely do that. It's filling. You just don't expect to be having dreams about this in a week. Nightmares tomorrow morning, maybe, but definitely not dreams in a week. I would give the beef taco two and a half out of five. Next up here, we have the chicken taco. I'm going to give him a helping dose of cheese. Yes, I am being careful. I can have shredded Mexican or cheddar cheese. That will not trigger any sort of a, a lactate incident. We're going to avoid those as best we can. Nice thick taco. It's got some filling, like it's stuffed. It's not empty. I've gotten Taco Bell tacos and honestly had less filling in than these. So I will give them props on actually filling the taco. Chicken is dry, thankfully. Nice and juicy, it's got some pepper to it. It's actually better than the beef, which chicken is king. I know in America, you think beef is king. We sell more chickens in this country than anything. Chicken is king in this country. Nice and tasty, honestly. I haven't even got to the pork taco, and I'm already wishing that I'd gotten a second chicken taco. I would give that 3.25 out of five plus. Last up, we have the pork taco, pork carnitas. Now, you don't have to get one of everything. You can order these in any combination you want. You can get two pork, one chicken. You can get all chicken, all beef, all pork. Whatever you want, all beef, if you like. So it's really 
dealer's choice. We got some nice big chunks of the pulled pork in there. For the tomatoes that I added from the sad looking toppings boat. Take a big bite. I'm not gonna lie, I thought the pork was gonna be the worst. Because pork at Disney has a long history and it has not always been positive. Especially when it comes to quick service pork. But it's actually juicy, well flavored. I think it actually has a bigger flavor punch than the chicken does. Well seasoned, not dry. I wish they had a couple more sauces to like tie things together, like some sort of like crema to tie everything together, or maybe like their own house made hot sauce and this pack of hot sauce to give us. But this is paying this bill. I'm not expecting Victorian Alberts. I'm not expecting Sanaa. I'm expecting park food that won't make me sick. Is this park food that I feel won't make me sick? Yes. But that's the bar. And the bar for Magic Kingdom food is almost on the floor. This, given the nature of Disney quick services, it's higher than average. So I'm giving the whole bowl three and a half out of five bowls. Of course, we got dessert. So I'm gonna come here and suffer through Pegasus Bell. And yes, I said suffer. <clears throat> and there's no hate to anybody that loves Pegasus Bell. I only throw a real shame at Cosmo Grace. So, we have churros with chocolate sauce, fruit, and chocolate fruit and snack cup. I don't know why it says chocolate fruit and snack cup on there when it's just supposed to be chocolate sauce. Cane sugar, water, cocoa, salt. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Open that up there. Does not open well, but oh well. We're gonna make a mess. Nice little churro bite. Bite-sized Disney churro. It's got a nice feel to it. Dip it in the chocolate. Chocolate bowl, that's what everybody comes here for. Not as good as like a Disney stand churro. The churros are probably been sitting in our heat lamp for a little bit. But they got the crunch, nothing on the inside. It's just a standard churro. Not much amount of the chocolate sauce helps. It's an average churro. It's no universal churro. And I would say, the real churros are probably just a tiny bit better than Disney churros. This isn't Disneyland, who's the king of churros. This is Disney World. And in Orlando, I don't know if Disney has a market corner on Disney churros. I know that some of you are gonna come for me. I probably earned that smoke. Leave how you feel in the comments. I love to hear from you. I never thought I'd take this, but this is the best time I've ever had at Pancos Bell. I would say this salad tossed my salad better than any salad that has been tossed for me at Magic Kingdom. Ma'am, this is still a family channel. And on this family channel, we stand for salad. Yes, it was surprising that, us. that the salad we actually thought was a better option than the plant-based option. The plant-based option is really kind of a joke. I, I do think that the salad is the best thing that we had today on our table. Now, we don't definitely usually recommend modifying them. This is an easy modification. Almost every quick service yeah. on the property has the balsamic vinegar dressing, so literally just get the salad, no get the dressing. balsamic yeah. dressing, or you can ask for it, the manager will yeah. get it for you in the back. They're totally. Easy choice. Do not, <laughs> even as a vegetarian, I cannot recommend that strawberry ranch. That was gross. Uh, but I don't know what you guys think, given what you've seen. Are you more likely to visit Pegasus Bill next time you come to Magic Kingdom as your number one choice in foodie infotainment? We want to hear from you. And as always, if there's anything else you'd like to see us do, the comments is always in a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear will never take you on a whole new world. No dazzling places, but you heard the girl.